doing some terraforming uh, to start this episode so that way I have enough space to uh, build what we're going to do today and that is our blacksmith workshop. Now, last episode we worked on this. This is our cozy cat cabin so I made this uh, for about 40 of my cats because I had a huge uh, cat problem after I made my villager breeder a couple episodes back. I think it came out better than expected and you guys uh, seem to heavily enjoy this build in particular as well. But yeah, getting started right off the bat and as always, welcome back uh, to the survival series. First things first is that I need to destroy both of these houses here so that way I can put the blacksmith's workshop uh, within its place. I don't think this guy should attack me, right? Alright, good. Alright, so that's done. So now I have to reorganize uh, all of my materials, not only here, but also at the cat cabin as well. Um, and then also get the materials to prepare for the build and then outline what I'm going to plan on doing for the main structure of the build as well. Alright, so we outlined the build. I have all of my materials together as well uh, to build this thing, hopefully. So the next thing we have to do is the exterior, which will be time-lapsed, uh, as you all know. Um, and I'm planning to do um, like this house uh, what I did for the Fletcher's workshop, but just kind of like wider, maybe more square, and also do uh, like one of these roofs as well, like what we did for uh, the Villager Breeder as well, just like with the half slab roof, um, but just uh, like the same dimensions as what the main house is going to be, but for one uh, floor, and that's where all of our blacksmiths are basically going to um, do like all of their smithing and stuff. So fusing together old concepts uh, that I've previously done uh, to make our blacksmith's workshop. I'm also planning on using a lot of dark oak for this build as well uh, since I need to A use it up and B we haven't really used a lot of dark oak um, in some of our previous builds in a while. So but yeah just kind of flying through the build process um, in order to make this thing um, as I also want this to be kind of like a shorter episode than some of the previous ones that we have had. Uh, we also have the interior but I won't detail that much um, until we build uh, the entire structure for the exterior so uh, with that uh, sit back, relax, grab some popcorn and enjoy the time lapse. Yeah, oh yeah. Finish the exterior. Uh, so now we have to do the entire interior. I think this place uh, turned out really, really good, and I tried to mirror this the best that I could from my test world because the one version of my test world was um, was actually flipped. So this side was uh, over here uh, to the main part of the house. So as I said before, like a lot of dark oak. 
uh, for the exterior, uh, and we also did brick for the chimney. I think this chimney design is probably the best chimney that I have probably done on this world too. Off camera, after our time lapse, I decided to do some extra detailing and landscaping as well. Uh, I added these deep slate ores here. Um, just for ores that the blacksmiths could be using. Neat little pattern design that I did for our forge chimney with uh, like brick stairs. And then I also did a pathway leading up to our blacksmith's workshop. Um, and I think this build came out so, so nicely um, and it fits the aesthetic quite perfectly. So now it's time to do the interior. So what I'm planning to do for the interior is this part is gonna be uh, like the smithing area. So we already have our forge set up. I just have to do a couple things around it. I also have to set up our um, stations so that way villagers can convert. I'm planning to have three villagers in here, or three blacksmiths, um, one of each profession. So we'll have an armorer, a weaponsmith, uh, and a toolsmith as well. Uh, this area is going to be uh, the storage area that I'm going to plan on keeping my enchanted tools. And this is um, actually the number one reason why I'm building uh, the blacksmith workshop today. Um, not really focused so much on what the blacksmiths have in terms of trades, um, as I kind of just care less about that, uh, to be honest. They don't really have like a lot of good trades. Um, especially with the gear that I have now or that I can upgrade to. And then this upstairs area and the main part of the workshop is where my blacksmiths are going to sleep for the most part. So this will kind of be like the bedroom type area and I'm going to try and pimp this place out as well to the best I can, similar to what we had um, in our Fletcher's workshop. But yeah, with that being said, I suppose we should start on the interior to try and finish up um, this build that we have going on. All right, time to get three of you guys out of here finally. Oh man, this house is really, really cool. What are you doing in here? Guys. You know better. So I'm happy the way this place turned out. I think I did slightly better uh, compared to the version I pre-built in my test world. But yeah, I also did a lot of extra detailing uh, as you can probably see around me as well. Um, we have all of our professions. I haven't really done anything in terms of trading yet, uh, but I probably will by next episode. But yeah, this is our nice little smithing area. Uh, for all of our blacksmiths. This is my storage room. Uh, this is pretty cool. I tried to pimp this thing out um, on each of the walls as best as I could, but uh, this is where I primarily store all my enchanted gear, which is kind of like the primary function of uh, what this workshop basically is, rather than just trading with all of my blacksmiths. And then up here, uh, this is where all of my blacksmiths basically sleep as well. So yeah, nice little place uh, for where my blacksmiths can stay and where I can store uh, enchanted gear. So that is our blacksmiths workshop. I'm very happy uh, the way this turned out and I'm very happy that uh, I got around to building it finally. You can also look at this place from the back here as well. Um, and I think this just looks really, really cool from 
uh, almost all angles from where you look at it. So I finally have a place where I can store all of my enchanted gear that I find in places like uh, caves, bastions, strongholds, and cities, uh, you name it. So, so what are we doing in the next episode? So next episode, uh, in honor of St. Patrick's Day actually, is for our little green enemies, uh, a creeper farm. Uh, this farm is going to be really, really important for this world, uh, trying to get gunpowder for things like TNT and fireworks. Uh, just to fly around and stuff with elytras um, and it's going to be really really important as I said before for this world uh, because I have progressed significantly far um, and I am running out of uh, gunpowder in particularly so that is going to be uh, a really really useful farm uh, for me going forward after I build it. I also won't be featuring a comment this episode because I am kind of on a time crunch as well uh, as I'm preparing to go uh, back home for uh, my mini vacation for spring break. But yeah, gonna be hanging out with family uh, for the next week or so for my spring break. Um, and hopefully that Creeper Farm episode will be uploaded uh, hopefully somewhere around my birthday as well, which is on the 22nd of this month. As you guys are also probably aware, I did hit 200 subscribers uh, just the other day. Um, and I've been experimenting a lot with uh, YouTube shorts in particularly, and you guys absolutely love them. So I'm going to definitely keep doing them um, either daily or like every other day um, of some of the past builds that I have done uh, in previous episodes. But yeah, I appreciate the massive support uh, you guys have been giving this channel as of recently. But yeah, anyways, that's going to be it for me. I hope you all enjoyed me building uh, the Blacksmith Workshop for you guys, finally. Please leave a like, it helps me out a ton with the algorithm. Subscribe if you're new and turn on those post notifications uh, for when I finally decide to upload. Also comment down below, I reply to most, if not all, of my comments uh, on this channel. Public Discord is in the description below, and please be sure uh, to wish me a happy birthday if I don't upload the next episode uh, before then. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one when we do the Creeper Farm. As always, take care.